Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will do an art integrated activity. This will be on the basic proportionality theorem of class 10th. We will prove or verify the basic proportionality theorem using the paper cutting activity. Paper cutting and pasting activity. First, let us see what is the basic proportionality theorem. According to the basic proportionality theorem or the Thales theorem. In a triangle, if a line is drawn parallel to one side intersecting the other two sides in a distinct points, then the line divides the two sides in the same ratio. So this is the statement of basic proportionality theorem. Let us first prove a basic proportionality theorem and then verify the theorem using paper cutting activity. So basic proportionality theorem holds for triangles. In a triangle, if there is a line drawn parallel to one side, intersecting the other two sides in a distinct points, say D and E, then the line DE divides AB and AC in same ratio that is AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. For proving this we have to do some construction. The construction is from point D we have to drop a perpendicular such that DP is perpendicular to AE and from E let us drop a perpendicular EQ such that EQ is perpendicular to AD. Also, we join BE and we join CD. The proof of basic proportionality theorem is very simple. So, this is the statement. If DE is parallel to BC, then AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. For the proof, we have to find the ratio of areas of triangle ADE divided by or ratio of areas of triangle ADE and BDE once and next ratio of areas of triangle same ADE and triangle CED. Now area of a triangle is half of base into height. So let us find area of triangle ADE. ADE is the area is a half of a base into height. For triangle ADE and BDE which is in the left side. So area of this we can take as half of base that is AD into corresponding altitude that is EQ. So half of AD into EQ divided by for the triangle area of triangle BDE. For this triangle base is BD and altitude or height is external height. We get external height when we produce DD. So area of BDE is a half of a BD that is base into external height EQ. And then we cancel the like terms and the ratio of ADE and BDE comes out to be AD by BD. And now area of ADE and CED. CED is in the right side. This side. And now we find area of ADE. So for that purpose we will take area of ADE as a half of a base. Since we are taking the right side this time the base we will take it as AE and on this base AE the corresponding altitude is a DP. So AE into DP and for triangle obtuse triangle CED area is half of base that is a CE into external height. External height is a DP and we can cancel the like terms here. And this ratio of areas of the two triangles comes out to be AE by CE. We can call the first statement as equation 1 and the second statement as equation 2. 
for equation 1 and 2 we want the right hand sides to be equal which is the basic proportionality theorem that will be possible when the left hand sides are equal the left hand sides numerators are already equal we have to see how our triangle bde and ced related when we look into the diagram we find triangle bde and ced these are the two triangles on a same base de and they lie between parallel lines de and bc and we know that triangles on a same base between parallel lines are equal in area so area of ced is actually area of triangle bde now since left hand sides are equal we can write from equation 1 and 2 since left hand sides ratios are equal right hand sides are also equal that is ad by bd is equal to ae by ce and hence basic proportionality theorem is proved but this theorem now we will do or we will verify using paper cutting activity so this was the theorem statement and the proof so i'll keep this aside and we will do the paper cutting activity to verify the theorem for the verification i have drawn a table like this observation table so we will consider three types of triangles acute triangle right triangle obtuse triangle so i have kept them ready so we have an acute triangle pqr a right triangle pqr and an obtuse triangle pqr and now we will take the parallel lines sheet so this is the parallel lines sheet so on this parallel line sheet i will place the acute triangle first so as i place the acute triangle on so these are actually a uh, unit blocks which are placed parallel to each other so we have a parallel line tracks between them so let me first place the triangle pqr so i have placed it aligned to one of the uh, parallel lines now for this triangle let me draw a line parallel to qr so i am drawing a line parallel to qr so by construction this is a parallel to the base qr let me label this parallel line as lm so for this triangle let us find the distance or measure of pl and lq since ln is parallel to qr pl pl is this is a half block if we round up let us take this as one block and this is another block or this is one and half block i'll take it as 1.5 units and lq lq from l to q there are two blocks you see one and two so l to q there are two blocks so what is the pl to lq this ratio so pl to lq will be 1.5 by 2 so this is a ratio now let us see the other side measure of pm and mr so when i see the other side p to m p is here the vertex is p and m so from p to m there is a half block and a full block so p to m is also a one and half block that means 1.5 block and then we will see uh, the distance from m to r so from m to r there are two blocks 1 2 so these are unit blocks 1 2 so m to r it is two blocks so then what is pm by mr so pm by mr is 1.5 by 2 so here we see that since line lm is a parallel to qr since line lm is parallel to qr we are getting the 
either sides or the other sides being divided in the same ratio by the line LM that is 1.5 by 2, 1.5 by 2. So here for acute triangle or acute angled triangle, the basic proportionality theorem is verified. Now let us uh, take another triangle and verify basic proportionality theorem. BPT holds for all types of triangles or not. So that was acute. Now let us take a right triangle. So I have taken a right triangle PQR. And for this right triangle, let me draw a parallel line. So I am drawing a parallel line at one of the or tracking one of the parallel tracks that is there in this parallel line sheet. So here, this line is the LM. So we have LM parallel to base QR. So LM and this is QR. So let us first find PL. So P to L. So P, this part. This part consists of 1, 2, 3. So 3 unit blocks. And then LQ. L to Q, there are 1, 2. So there are 2 unit blocks. So the ratio of PL to LQ is 3 by 2. Now let us see the other side. PM and MR. So P to M is this this gap, this is made up of 1, 2, 3. 3 gaps and M to R, there are 2 gaps. So I'll write here 3 and here I'll write 2. And the ratio of PM to MR is 3 by 2. So here also for the right angle triangle, we see that if LM is a drawn parallel to one of the sides, then line LM is a dividing the other two sides in the same ratio. And here the ratio is a 3 by 2. So BPT holds for right triangles also. Now let us consider the obtuse triangle. According to basic proportionality theorem, in a triangle, so the triangle can be any triangle. So in a triangle, if a line is drawn parallel to one side, intersecting the other two sides in distinct points, then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio. So we have an obtuse triangle PQR. I have placed QR aligned to one of the parallel units. So now let me draw a line parallel to QR. So this parallel line I can draw anywhere. So I chose here. So tracking one of the parallel line gaps there I have drawn. So L M. So now since line L M is parallel to Q R let us find P L, L Q, P M and M R. So here P to L. P to L is this gap and this gap is made up of how many units? Let us see 1, 2, 3, 4. So PL is 4 units and LQ is 1 unit. So PL by LQ is 4 by 1. Now on the other side PM and MR. So PM. So this part is made up of how many units? So 1, 2, 3, 4. So PM is 4 units and MR you can see it is 1 unit. So PM by MR is 4 by 1. So all through we have seen that since the line LM was parallel to QR, we got the either sides being divided in the same ratio. Hence the basic proportionality theorem is verified. So let us write a concluding statement. In triangle, in triangle, PQR. Since we have taken line LM parallel to QR, throughout we found that PL by LQ is equal to PM by MR and hence the basic proportionality